I want to welcome everybody to part two of this 1953 Australian Music Masters Model 620-9. G'day, mate. When last we left, we got it to work, but I had to wiggle the tubes here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Where did pagers explode in apparent attack across Lebanon? Now this tube is the 6BE6. This is the converter tube. And it's got a bad connection here. It's very flaky here. We are very sorry to tell you this, but you are flaky. It's like this pin right here. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. He's flaky. That was a bad day for public discourse in this country. Maybe this one. Let's just reflow all those wires and see what happens. Please stand back and try not to inhale the toxic fumes. Let's see if that works. I'm thinking maybe it's a socket. There's a close-up of that socket. I think we can see why it's making bad connections here. I see a lot of crud. And this one here, which is pin seven. But all of them look like they, uh, these things are pushed out so far that I don't think the, uh, the tube is being held in there very tight. Let me see if I can clean that up a little bit better and see if it works then. If not, then I'll just replace the socket. It looks to be kind of cheap. Ah, that's very cheap. Clean it. Let me try to close the gap on these pins here so they'll grip the tube pins a little bit better. So I tried to bend some of those pins back. I feel look kind of funky there, but uh, let's put the tube in there and try it. Feels better. These are all loose too. I'll have to do the same thing I did over there over here. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to rewire this whole thing. And while I'm doing that, you guys can watch me strip the cabinet and refinish it. I think you guys are getting the better part of the deal. What do you think? I agree with you. Okay, what do you say we strip this cabinet, huh? Yeah. Now, we gotta take this off first. Let's see what's holding that in there. Looks like there's some screws here. 
Let's take those off and see what we get. Okay, the screws are removed. Let's take this out of here. Look at that. There was actually a piece of grill cloth on there. It just rotted away there. Looks like that metal plate there is holding this whole piece that wraps around it. Ah, ah that very tape. Nothing but the best. It's a piece of foil in there. Let's take it out in the garage and strip it. Oh, you nasty man. This right here is all loose. What I might do here is remove this plate. That's gonna loosen these two ends here. This is held in by nails here, but some of those nails are not even holding there. So take that piece off and see if we can strengthen that or glue it or whatever. Okay, loosen this nail up here. I'm going to take the nail out, since there's some loose nails here. Hopefully when I take that uh, out, the whole thing won't go boing and unravel itself. The Hammer of Thor! I took out all the nails that were in here and all the way here, over here up to the half, halfway point. And here's all these nails, There's a bunch of them. So the plan is now, I'm gonna put some glue over here and uh, I'm going to just put some brass brads in here in place of these nails and uh, hammer them all the way around so they'll be visible and I think it's gonna look pretty neat but before I can do that this piece here is loose see that right there
Sloppy. You are sloppy. I've completed securing this top and I use these uh, brads here that are made of brass I think that kind of looks smart I'm not a smart man all the way around what I think I'll do here is to add some more strength to this I'm gonna glue in a uh, veneer down in here and on the top here for some reason they had this foil piece glued in here on the, that top section I don't know why they did that they also had this uh, foil piece down in here glued down but I think that looks kind of tacky I'm not going to use that <laughs> Let me cut some veneer and see if we can glue some veneer on the bottom and the top. Okay, we'll just start off with a piece here on the bottom. I'm going to use this contact cement, but brush it on, on both sides. Let it set for about 15 minutes and then uh, bond it together. Okay, well the fumes on this are uh, whew, powerful, baby, powerful. Now, to get this thing in here, not gonna be easy. You should be careful. That wasn't bad at all. Well done. Okay. I'm going to do off camera, both sides and the top. And when I finish that, then it'll be time to uh, put a stain on here. Then the final finish. Okay, let's give this a quick uh, light stain. This is golden oak. And we'll see what it looks like.
I'm going to use a darker stain for the inside here, but we'll do that off camera. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Hi, fellas. Roy Rogers! Hey, that's a pretty tricky hat, isn't it? Partners, how would you like to surprise your pals like that? Well, you can with my new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat. It's by Ideal. And here's how the Quick Shooter hat works. Just press this secret button right here, and a replica of an authentic Western pistol pops out and fires. It's your secret weapon, even when they think you're unarmed. So get Ideal's new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat at your favorite store today, and you'll always be ready for anything. Ask for Ideal's new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat. Well, here's my progress on the chassis. Shined up the uh, cans. Cleaned up the uh, tuner. And take a look at that. I shined that chassis up, and it's looking pretty good. Now I've got some footage on that, so let's take a look at that right now. There's an old Australian stockman lying, dying. And he gets himself up onto one elbow and he turns to his mates who are gathered around and he says, Watch me wallabies feed, mate. Watch me wallabies feed. They're a dangerous breed, mate. So watch me wallabies feed all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Keep me cockatoo cool, curl. Keep me cockatoo cool. Oh, don't go acting the fool, curl. Just keep me cockatoo cool all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. And take me koala back, Jack. Take me koala back. He lives somewhere out on the track, Mac. So take me koala back all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Let me abos go loose, Lou. Let me abos go loose. They're of no further use, Lou. So let me abos go loose all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. And mind me platypus duck, Bill. Mind me platypus duck. Oh, don't let him go running amuck, Bill. Just mind me platypus duck all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Play your didgeridoo, blue. Play your didgeridoo. Uh, like, keep playing till I shoot through, blue. Play your didgeridoo. All together now, time me kangaroo down, sport. Time me kangaroo down. Time me kangaroo down, sport. Time me kangaroo down. Tan me hide when I'm dead, Fred. Tan me hide when I'm dead. So we tanned his hide when he died, Clyde. And that's it hanging on the shed all together now. Time me kangaroo down, sport. Time me kangaroo down. Time me kangaroo down, sport. Time me kangaroo down.
Okay, guess what time it is, huh? Now today, I'm only letting in fans of Red Transformers. Unlike those people who were booing me last time, forget you guys. So only people who enjoy the beauty of these Red Transformers can see this. So let's go. Oh boy, boy, I can hardly wait. This is Colonial Red. Red is more durable. Gee, you're looking swell. Well, she's looking good. A lot better than I hoped. Nice. Awful nice. Oh, how nice. Oh, yes. Very nice. Thing of beauty is a joy forever. Just gorgeous. Ain't it a beauty? This is beautiful. What is that, Velvet? Beautiful, graceful, elegant. Beautiful, Charmley. Beautiful. Beautiful, ain't it? Excellent! Excellent. Excellent. I told you you were a great artist. You're a brilliant artist. Bueno. Fantastic! You're beautiful. Well, there's the Transformer completed. I've got the black trims here. Looking pretty snazzy, huh? Let's get out David Tipton here and see what he has to say. Now, David, what do you think of that? Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Now, you don't sound too enthused there. Try that again with a little more feeling, huh? Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Well, that was better, but I think you need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> Well, I started rewiring this thing. I did this section here and over here. Did some more over here. But then I ran into some trouble. The pin for the socket broke off. Oh my God, he's an idiot. It goes right there. I don't know if you can see that. Not only that, but this one over here broke. You pompous son of a bitch. That goes over here. So now I gotta take those off and all the wires that are attached to them and put in some new sockets. Holy moly. Well, I was searching around the house for a couple of seven pin sockets. And I did find one here now this is uh, something my brother made. You know my brother Biz. He made this in high school during the uh, radio electronic class he took. This used to be a, uh, a tube tester. This had a seven pin here and it had an octal socket here. What this did was it just tested the filaments. So you just plug the tube in and uh, there's a neon bulb in there that would light up if the filaments were okay. Now I used the octal socket a few years ago, but I scavenged the uh, seven pin from here. So Biz, if you're watching this, does that look familiar? Yes, come to think of it. Brings back memories, huh? Uh, yes. Let me show you where I found the other one. I found this junk radio. You can see these sockets here. They're a different style. But I robbed this one over here. So let's take a look at those. Okay, here's the two sockets. This one here on the right is from the junk radio. And the one on the left is from Biz's uh, tube tester from high school. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these two. Hopefully they'll work. These are the two I gotta drill out of there. 
Well, look at this. They put those in there with those pop rivets. What? It's true. I've never seen that before. Here they are all wired up here. This one and this one. There's those two sockets here. I had to put the nuts on the top here because uh, if they were on the bottom, they were too close to the pins, so I didn't want to short anything out. Those sockets hold these in here real tight. So these are good to go. Well, there's a shot of it completely rewired here. I put in two electrolytics here to replace those other ones. Even those old ones uh, sounded pretty good. I just put some new ones in here. I replaced uh, one, two, three, four capacitors. One, two, three resistors. So I think it looks okay. Although it's nothing to write home about. It's true, very true. Well, here's the casualty list. Electrolytics, sockets, capacitors. Ugly, ugly wire. Yeah. Here's this weird output transformer here. I mounted it on standoffs here because these wires that were attached to it were, uh, were actually laying right on the chassis. So I wired this up here. I'm gonna use these two connectors because these go to the speaker and I'll be able to disconnect the speaker with these here. So it's coming along. Okay, next on the agenda here is this plate here. It needs to be painted. It has some rust on the back there. So I try to take that off. A fresh coat of paint will make that look good. After that's done, we got this dial pointer that needs to be cleaned. This slides back and forth. And it's kind of stiff here, so this needs a lot of cleaning right here. And after that's finished, guess what? What? I got some dial string here. Yay! And old Buzz gets to figure out how this is strung. Around here, around here. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try. So don't go away, that should be fun.
Charlie Kohler has been active today for the Ravens. Well, he just got more yards on that catch there than he had all season. In the section of the day, but actually a great defensive play by Tyler Kill to break. You listen, you listen. You hear it, JD Vance mopped the floor with Tim Walls last night, despite it being in. It's everything you need all in one can. Defend your game time with. Are accusing insurance companies of systematically shortchanging policyholders when they file a claim. Well, it, it, it was something that just happened I, I, off the whim, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. Follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be referring a lot to some stuff that I've been reading and hearing. That's it, folks. Well, we're in the final stretch here. I'm going to fix up this grill here. This was stapled on here. So I took the staples off. And underneath that is grill cloth. So I'm going to put a grill cloth on here. I'm going to take this badge off and paint this gold. That just spiff that up pretty good. Polish this up. Also, this back here was in pretty bad shape. I had to rebuild all this because it was missing. You can see here, this is all crumbling. I got to fix this. And uh, right now, I'm just going to trim off some of the uh, excess wood here. You can see that. So I always use my uh, favorite uh, knife here, my X-Acto knife. I love it. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Crocodile Dundee. Yep, that beats my knife. Anyway, let's uh, cut this down. And I'll do this off camera. And when we're ready, I'll probably put on a sheet of veneer on here. That just spiffed that up. Maybe I'll paint the back. It's time for the final coat. I'm going to use this Minwax uh, spar urethane here. success at last. Okay, I've got the screen in here. The next uh, thing I have to do is put the speaker in there. But let's just see what this looks like. I turn it around. Okay. Now the uh, speaker here is mounted on this board here with the grill cloth. And that's gonna go in here. Like that and I've got to screw that down. After that's screwed down I'm going to put the chassis in there 
and we'll be ready for the reveal. Coming up next. Don't miss it. You'll love it. Woohoo! Okay, it's finally time. Let's take a look at this Australian Music Masters model 620-9. And I believe it's the only one that ever made it here on USA soil. So, here we go. Don't look too shabby, huh? But for a small radio, this sure took a lot of work. I like to play an Irish and Australian song called The Wild Colonial Boy. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who will recognize this song. There was a wild colonial boy, Jack Doolin was his name. For poor but honest parents, he was born in Castle Maine. He was his father's only hope, his mother's pride and joy. And dearly did his parents love the wild colonial boy. Scarcely sixteen years of age when he left his parents' home. And through Australia's sunny climb, a bush ranger did roam. He robbed the wealthy squatters and their stock he did destroy. A terror to Australia was the wild. Yeah. 
This radio gave old Buzz many, many problems. Even after it was all finished, every time I put it in the cabinet, it squealed like a pig. <laughs> but finally, I conquered it. I want to thank my pal David Tipton from the land down under for sending this to me. Thanks, David. God will get you for this. <laughs> Just kidding. So this is old Buzz signing off. Till next we meet. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned for Dickel's Corner, next. Boy, am I in the mood for some Funyuns. I saw that Buzz bought a bag, and I need to trick him so I can eat them. I watched a video on YouTube that's going to make them Funyuns mine. <laughs> oh, Buzz, come here, Buzz. What do you want? I'll bet you, you can't take that dollar bill away without touching the bottle. That doesn't look hard. What do you want to bet? I'll bet you a bag of Funyuns. You can't do it. You know you're not too bright. What do I get if I do it? Well, I have a zero bar here. Those Funyuns cost over five bucks. That zero bar is only worth two bucks. Well then, I'll throw in three bucks plus the zero bar. Okay, it's a bet. Remember, you can't touch the bottle. Okay, Dickel. Here's the Funyuns. Let me have the zero bar. Here's the zero bar, Buzz. All right, here's the zero bar. Plus three bucks, please. Here's the money. That's only two bucks. It's under the bottle. Okay, that's three bucks. Okay, so all I have to do is just uh, take that out without touching the bottle, huh? Is there a trick to that? There's the bottle. Let's see if you can do it. Do I get to practice? Okay, Buzz, you get one practice shot. I get one practice? Okay. <laughs> How the hell is that supposed to work? It's not easy, is it? How the hell am I supposed to get that out of there? Use your brain, Buzz. That's impossible. Okay, now you gotta do it for real. I think you tricked me, Dickel. Stop stalling, Buzz. Okay, well, let me try it. What? <laughs> what? You did it! Three bucks, a zero bar, and Funyuns. Thank you, Dickel. It was nice doing business with you. Why, you? What? I got robbed! You took my Funyuns! You took my zero bar! You took my 